very first Let's Play series. We are on the Valley of the Old Farm. New map that just came out by Black Sheep Modding. Fantastic map. Brilliant map. It really is. It's just absolutely phenomenal. Got some really cool features on it. We're going to get up to the farm over here and I'll show you. Show you around. Show you some of the features. Show you some of the equipment we're going to be using on this Let's Play series. Coming up on it right here. I must say, Black Sheep Modding has just done a fantastic job. Alright. So, first off, we got some storage right here. And we're going to be using this Dutes Far right here. lovely mod what is it it's the oh it doesn't say oh. and then we're going to be using this it's fertilized lime spreader right here the bruns 8,000 liter bruns we've got the uh, grass picker it's a pull behind picks up grass hay silage all that good stuff but I like that it's a pull behind all-purpose trailer, hay trailer, bale trailer in general. You've got a small square baler, the Forshrit small square baler right there. And a Dutzfar mower. And a tether windrower combo. Had the hay bob 300. Some more storage right here. I like the little built-in shelves that you can put seeds and stuff like that on. It's pretty fun. Pretty cool stuff. And then over here, I've got the Missy Tank. The Missy B Tanker, the small one. 25,000 liter tanker for water, silage, or not silage, uh, fertilizer, herbicide, whatever. Whatever I need it for, you know. Got some more storage. Probably seeds. I'll probably use it for seed storage, fertilizer storage, that kind of thing. Got some more storage in here. Big old storage building. Really like it. Got a very nice busted up tractor right here. Doesn't run. Very nice. A little bit more storage. Just in case you didn't think you had enough. A couple of silage pits. Kind of tucked away into the side of this building right here. Really like it. Like the triggers. Show you some really cool thing about these silage bunkers though. They are very unique. I must say. You come up here. There's the cow barn, by the way. We'll take a look at it next. Come up here. Look at these. These are weird ramps, right? Weird looking things right here, right? Check this out. Come over here. They are ramps that come up. Cut this corner right here. Come up here. Drive it and pack it down. How fantastic is that? That is just the best thing I've ever seen. I've got a feeling more map makers are going to do this if they get the permission to use this bunker silo mod. I hope Black Sheep Modding puts this, takes this bunker silo and puts it as a placeable on the mod hub. I really, really do. We got our liquid slurry tanker right here. Point to pick up right here. And this is our cow shed. Fill points right here. Coming from right, right there. Got a couple entrances right here. Very, very nice mod. Really like it. Really like this cow shed. And 
this is the pickup point, and the fill point goes all the way out to here. And I'm assuming this is also the straw point, I would assume. Another door right here. Leads down here. And this is your animal dialogue right here. That's not your animal dialogue. I lied. Not sure what that is. To be honest. Let me know down in the comments if you know what that is. A little point right there. Very nice. Very, very nice milking barn right here. And the cows will come up here. They'll come down here. Put it on the things and go from there. Very nice. Very nice. The detail though, right? Aha, see this is going to be the straw point right here. Looks like we got another door right here. Sure enough. There's the manure right here. Looks like it's probably an automatic manure. Could, maybe not though. Maybe you got to move it from there to there. This comes up too. Nice open cow stall in the summertime. Nice closed cow stall in the winter. Very nice. Come over here. We got the sheep. Really, really nice sheep barn here. I really like it. I like the way it's designed. I've got a wool, wool spot right here. Feed spot right here. Comes out into this nice big open pasture. And the water is right here. Very nice. Very, very nice. And that's the field we own right there. And you got a gate right here. I don't like that all the sounds are the same for everything, but, you know, that's okay. I can deal with that, you know. It's not so bad. All right, and then we got the buy point right here. More storage. A lot of storage on this map. And there's a nice flat area right here. It's kind of marked on the mini map. You can kind of see it right there. All the way around here. You do own it. Just kind of like an expandable area. So it does leave you room for some expansion. So that's nice. It's always nice to expand. Always nice to have a little bit of expansion room. Nice, another broken down tractor. <laughs> I got lost. Whoops. Nice backyard. Little backyard garden. Got some tomatoes, it looks like, and whatever that is. A cabbage. Inside the house. Sleep points right here. Not tired, but sleep points right there. A little interior. Got a TV. 
couple couches. Voice been vacuuming again. No stove. No bedroom. Just that. Back to our equipment. And then this is the main part of the farm right here. We've got this gate. This is what you get coming into the main part of the farm. We've got chickens over here. This is the new egg point. In 17 it used to be in here. But we now have egg pellets, so let's tuck it out here. Uh, we got the buy point right here for chickens. And the feed point. Probably one and the same. More storage. <clears throat> got the John Deere. Medium. Got this 30,000 liter Lizard RX-8 tipper. Very nice, very nice. Got some more storage space back there. Got this wonderful JCB that came in the Modern's Classic pack. Love it. We got this new uh, harvester, the Neva. It's a very, very cool mod. I really like it. It's a very unique harvester. Look at that. Check that out. Oh, well. I'm not going to look at nothing. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Got your bale cell point right in here. I believe this is going to be your fuel cell point. Your fuel tanker is going to be under here. Going to be using the 3 meter uh, poly mag. And this subsoiler. And we're going to be using the 6 meter John Deere Cedar. This is your vehicle cell point right here. Love the little details like this. Little junk room, little workshop. Looks like it. It looks like every man's junk room, to be honest with you. That's exactly what it looks like. You can pick stuff up, move it around, whatever. Whatever you want to do with it. Throw it at people. Some more storage right here. You got your silo right here. Unload point right there, load point right there. Love the bricks. Gives it a nice rustic feel. And then back to the backyard, the cow barn. A little bit more storage right here. And then right through here, over this bridge, is the hayloft. How cool is that? This whole thing is just a one big massive hayloft. I love it. This is, this is probably the coolest part of this map. I just love this hayloft thing. And then, one thing that they didn't, of course, you know, in 17 they didn't have these rails in right here. One of the coolest things about their conversion to 19 is they put these rails in. And if you want to load it from down there, on both sides, it's got a little fence lower. Just kind of lowers the fence. How cool is that? There's two over here, and there's one on that side. How cool is that? I mean, right? Like, look, I mean, come on. 
You can't get much cooler than that. And that is the valley. The old farm. Beautiful map. Very, very beautiful. Very big map. A lot of big fields. A lot of room for a lot of things to do. A lot of good cell points. And there's a cow pasture right here. That you can take your cows to in the summertime if you so please. Nice big map. A lot of forestry. By this whole big section right here. Or this section. This section. And then some of the fields are in singles. Some of the fields are in doubles. Some of the fields are in triples. I don't think I found one that's any higher than a triple. And then right here is the pig farm, but you have to own it to be able to see it. But that is the pig farm. There is a pig farm. I believe those are the only two farms, though. Yeah, see, here's... Oh, there's four. There's four small fields, though. And you do start off on New Farmer owning all the... This bit, the BGA is included in that. If you start on New far, uh, Farm Energy, you will not have that ver that uh, luxury. And it does cost 471000 So, keep that in mind. And I think that concludes episode one and our map tour. And we will get started with the farming next episode. This has been Fluky Stew signing off.